And welcome back to Mega Man Legacy Collection Part 6 and last time we already started this so, so it is time to continue and let us go and fight uh, Actually I think I know I'm gonna, going to go and fight against Yamato Man Yes I know you were, you were a big battleship And you're uh, actually Yes and that's Mount Fuji Yes, we are in Japan. This is very Japanese level. But then again, as you might believe that... Well... These robots are actually much more about... Creating of those... S certain kind of na nationalities and personalities instead of... Of being just some generic things. And yes, Mega Man 6 also has some alternative alternate level paths which I do use. And I'm not going to show any of those return routes, mostly because it would be just a waste of time. And this is what the Rust Jet does in this. It allows us to fly! Although it does have a bit of a upper limit of how far you actually can fly upwards with it and of course it doesn't have ex endless energy me mean you, you can't use it just to fly around and there's also the fact that it does not blo stop your fall completely me meaning that well if you start to use it too late when you try to do some difficult maneuvers you won't succeed and you may you smash yourself into spikes or something like that. And it's actually pretty in interesting that they managed to change a big, quite, quite noticeable core part of the gameplay, and st and still keep and, and keep the game fresh. Even this is, this is the last of the classical Mega Man games, but they still man still went to just redoing their work and yes you can have to fly over that bit of spikes and in these alternate paths there's actually reason for you to go to them or at least there's alternate paths to four of the robot masters and if you do them you get an ex something ex nice extra and and to get to those extra robot master encounters you have to have this jet and that means you have to defeat plant man before you you fight against any of those robot masters who have this way of being hid, being hid secret and Yamada man is one of them so let's fight him and yes, he has that samurai-like helmet and he's got a spear and which he uses to attack you airborne and he also throws it vertically at you. And once he has thrown it ver horizontally, correction, I was about to say he attacks you with horizontal spear thrust, he goes and picks it up, making it quite interesting as he is probably well this Mega Man game is the first one which has clearly armed robot masters but Yamato Man's well the fact that he only used that spear made it a bit of a predictable he doesn't have a set pattern but he does have set behavior of that throwing, jumping and shooting his spears and then just throwing it horizontally and going to pick it up. Yamato Spear! Oh, we, and yes, we got the beat, we can get the beat. Although this Yamato Spear itself isn't so awesome weapon. Even if it could be awesome weapon, it actually ain't. So let us go and defeat complete opposite of him and defeat Knight. Yes, he looks very nice. He's got a shield and a mace. 
also and, and interestingly of course spear is used to pierce a shield interestingly although the shield weapon of this game <laughs> came from character which you damn certainly wouldn't expect to carry a shield use a shield like type weapon But generally speaking, uh, Nightmare's level isn't so. someone might say. interesting. It has these spike things. which lo lower down. and you have to wait, dodge, get through them before you get them. And of course, it has also these nail like spikes. And this is actually. They've actually got brought quite a bit of variety into this Mega Man game in terms of visuals. There's many many kind of spikes, there's many kind of obstacles, there's quite active platforms and hidden rooms, or whether they're not hidden rooms, but the secret paths you can explore. They actually, in a sense, took all the good, thi good things of the previous Mega Man games and put, put most of them into here. Of course the fact that you don't have game-breaking awesomeness of Mega Man 3, 3 Rush Jet or the magnificent super weapon of Metal Blade means that no they didn't take the best part of the previous games but they actually at least took those good things of the early, or, or, earlier ones and brought it here. In a sense, weapons in this Mega Man game don't feel as... In these last two Mega Mans, they don't feel so... potent as they could have felt, at, at, at least in my books. They don't feel as strong as they were. And they also adjust the rate of 1-ups, meaning they don't come as often as they Mega Man 5 did. And these things are, in, are funny in, in that when you shoot them, they lose their sunglasses and get angry. And to get that E tank, we have we must wear our robot dog power armor. Yeah, yeah, jet Man. Up. But yes, that's my, how how high jet can lift us. It doesn't. It can't lift us endlessly, but it can, and it not necessarily endless time. But it is actually very useful, and they are actually quite tricky parts for maneuvering that thing. Or at least in later games, there's pretty much trickier parts. As in, they cannot just make get part. Well, they must assume that. Every robot master must be defeatable from the get-go, as you can choose them. So they cannot just hope that somebody there's nobody trying to. And yes, to get not of the real nightman, you must use fist. And let us use his weakness this time. Just to show it. And there's nice tapestries and Nightman comes and he has a tassel, if I remember right was the word. But he shoots that mace ball, jumps around, and let's let just show how it works. As he is on, has a shield, it is actually quite difficult to hit him. Because that shield protects him completely from the front. But spear attacks actually pierce it devastatingly well. And yes, Yamato spear does actually have a li little bit of a zigzag pattern. Obviously not zigzag, but a little bit of spread pattern. Making it a bit better at hitting things, but most of the weapons in Mega Man 6 are just horizontally shooting things. Right. C. Something like chain or something. It goes 
but forge forward but it actually also spins around and this was the second part of Mega, Ma Mega Man Legacy Collection Part 6 and uh, we have defeated already half of all the Robot Masters so until next time I'll see you